All right, hell yeah. We got engineering statics. Uh, this is Hibbler. The PDF is in the description. We're adding vectors. And uh, I'm going to do two methods in this video. So let's see if I can do it in under 10 minutes. What we're going to be doing is adding both these vectors. We want a resultant. They both have tensions. And we want to... I don't know, kind of find, it just says we want to know the magnitude. There's the magnitude. Uh, but we kind of want to do it from a guesstimation uh, perspective. And maybe we also want to know kind of where the angle of that resultant is going to lie. The easiest, honestly, is, you know, just a very quick graphical method, the method I use. And I notice that uh, these two arrows are the same length, but they're representing two very different values of magnitude. So I'm just going to choose the smaller one, divvy it up and say, hey, that's 200, this is 100. And then I'm gonna come over here, kind of do the same thing. Using that same scale, this is 100, 200, we're gonna go three, four, five, and then hell yeah, so that's 500 this way, we're adding it to 200 in that direction. So I'm gonna, I'm just trying to get, you know, these lines to be fairly parallel. There you go. And then we're gonna go one, two. So hopefully that's pretty accurate. And then I'm just gonna kind of come here and this is gonna be the resultant. And, you know, I already said this was five. I can kind of sweep a, a circle into here. So this is five. I'm gonna say this is two. I'm gonna say this is less than two more. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna estimate this thing to be, um, uh, let's see, this is about one sweeping that. So if this is one, I'm gonna say it's like a, a uh, uh, 1.5. So we got one, we got five and 1.5. So we got 6.5. So hell yeah. And, uh, basically I said this was 500 and then, so this is going to be, uh, 650, uh, Newtons. Um, and that's going to be my estimate and hell yeah. So that gets fairly close. So adding vectors tip to tail and in this graphical way is one of the fastest ways uh, to get an answer and we can we even we even kind of know its direction like pretty hella uh, and, and even just from that perspective like what are what are some tricks that you can do you can take a sheet of paper fold it in two I mean you don't have to get too technical but you can be like okay that's that's greater than 45 uh, and the other method that I like to use is kind of sweep out a quarter circle easily divvy a quarter circle up into three that wasn't very good but and it's kind of hard, especially when you got a lot going on. Um, but hell yeah. So I'm just going to divvy that. That looks up about thir thirds. So this angle is going to be about 60, 63 degrees. And maybe we can double check that if we have time. Okay, hell yeah. So now I'm going to use the component method. You know, this is kind of the restaurant method where we need to know something about sines and cosines. We still don't want to touch your calculator. Uh, with 30 degree triangles, we know that this component is going to be this this side is going to be a hundred hell yeah and then we know even with 30 degrees i could just estimate this to be 200 the percent the cosine of 30 is 0.866 which is 86.6 percent you know what i mean so if i wanted to get if i wanted to throw that into my calculator i could just do that um but it's also good for me to work on my mental math skills so i'm going to use the restaurant method I'm going to say this is either 90% or 80% or halfway. Um, so what's, I don't know what 80% of 200 is, but I do, and maybe I do, you know what I mean? Maybe I could say I know what 80% of 100 is as 80, so that would be 160. So there you go, it's 160. Uh, and then what's 90? Don't know what 90% of 200 is, but of 100, that's going to be 90. And so this is going to be somewhere between 160 to 180. Sweet, 170. The other way that I would do this is, hey, what's 10% of 200? That's 20. Okay, so now multiply by 8, that's 160. Multiply by 9, uh, that's going to be 180. And halfway is 170. This might be 175, keep that in mind, because we, we have 86.6%, or just a little bit bigger. But hell yeah, we're going to use that. And now we have, now we come down here. Now this is a 70 degree angle, this is 20 degrees. Well, maybe maybe what you know about trigonometry ends at 30, 45, you know, 60. Maybe you only know those, like, um, three triangles. And so, uh, but we can get there. And the other way to get there maybe is a, a graphical representation. So if I say that this is, uh, 
um, 500, and sometimes that's hard to do. But no, we, we, could, we could do that. Uh, no, sometimes it's easier to make this, like, uh, let's just divvy it up into halves. And so, um, and then, you know what I mean? Does this look, does this dimension look the same as that? No, I would almost need to divvy this up into thirds. And if I divvied up this up into thirds, it would be fairly close. I don't know what a third of 500 is, but maybe that's about 200. Maybe it's about 180. So, um, um, I'm going to say this might be 180. Hell yeah. And then this, once you get past, uh, you know, smaller angles, this is pretty damn close to 500. I mean, we could call it... Uh, you know there that's why the the graphical method that we did just at the beginning of the video is definitely way better um but i the cosine of 20 is like 95 percent it's like 0.946 um, i think it's like point is it so we, what was it? the sign of the cosine of 20 yeah it's 0 0.94 0 0.94 so uh you know what I mean? 100% is 500. 90% of 500 is like, oh, I don't know what that is, but I do know what 90% of 1,000 is. That's going to be 900 divided by 2. That's going to be 450. So hell yeah. So I know that this is between 450 and 500. Maybe it's 475. So there you go. So we have uh, 475 there. And, um, and, uh, and, and, sure. And we use the graphical method. If you didn't want to use the graphical method, you would know that a 30 degree triangle is half, and then a 20 degree triangle is a third of a half. You know what I mean? Or two thirds of a half. So we would have two thirds times 0.5, and you would have that times 500. And that would be one, you know, maybe 170. Um, and let's just type it into our calculator. So we got 500 sine of 20. Um, just because this method is a little bit harder, but hell yeah. So we got fairly accurate just by guessing. But uh, there you go. We double-checked with our calculator, but we used a graphical representation of what the triangle is, knowing that this is 500, divvying it up and figuring out the sides, and then also using our knowledge that, well, hell yeah, with small angles, this dimension's pretty damn close to that dimension. But we also used, you know, we knew that cosine, we knew that the cosine of 30, like this dimension, is 86.6%. So the cosine of 20, it approaches 90%, 95. You know, uh, even, yeah, the, this, this is very close to 95. Cosine of, um, cosine of, uh, um, cosine of 15 degrees is like 96.5. Yeah, so 96.6. .6. So yeah, yeah, so you're just, the second this gets small, it's almost 100% of whatever this um, hypotenuse is. All right, two minutes to go. And, I mean, this method still b gives you components. So we're going to have 170 this way and 170 that way. So we're going to have, uh, what is that? That's, um, uh, that's 140 uh, plus, th it's a... Uh, 340. So we're going to have 340 that way. And then in the down direction, we're going to have 100. We're going to have 575. And then so you have to use a Pythagorean's theorem. So um, then, um, you know what I mean? The resultant is going to be 340 squared plus 575 squared square root that. And we get 668 Newton. So hell yeah. So we get definitely, I mean, if you're playing your cards right, and I would use a graphical approach and then also your knowledge of sines and cosines and then build that knowledge as, as percentages and decimals uh, and then double check it from a graphical perspective. And then you don't need to use your calculator and it's really good. But hell yeah, so there you go. And we can even get the angle of this. If this is 340, this is 575, uh, what angle do we want? Do we want, um, um, well, let's just let's just get... Oh, we got 50 more seconds. What the hell did we even do? 340 this way and then 575 down. And what angle do we want? Do we want that? So it's going to be the inverse tangent of 575 divided by 340. Hell yeah. So that angle is going to be 60 degrees. Basically, you know, if yeah, if this is 70, the resultant is pretty close to 60. And we just went over that probably in the previous video saying that, hell yeah, this is way more substantial than this. If this was 500 this way and then nothing you know, in this direction. Yeah, the angle would be 70, our angle 60, and we did it, and hell yeah. So I'm trying to do more shorter videos, so leave a like if that's what you want, um, or comment if you want me to ramble on for three hours, because sometimes that's easier and more fun. All right, hell yeah, thanks for joining me, and that's the video.